When it comes to photorealism, Scott Jacobs is on the top of the list. Now you might not know that this successful gallery is actually family run, so let's meet the Jacobs. So first off, tell me your role here in the studio. I know your name is on the door, but <laughs> tell us exactly what your role is. That's the most important part, my name's on the yeah. door. I am the product developer. Okay. I'm the one that makes everything that everybody else sells. So yeah. I'm the name behind the product. I would describe my dad as right-brained, strictly artistic. I feel like he kind of just goes with the flow with certain things, and my mom's the one, she's always been the one to enforce rules as when we were growing up. He was always the good guy, like, yeah, it's fine, giving me M&Ms as like a one-year-old child. So anyway, he had shown me this picture and told me how he used to doodle and to the, you know, high school newspaper, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, okay, you need a hobby. So I bought him some canvas and easel, paints, brushes, things like that, and thought, you know, if he had something else to do outside the gallery, maybe we could stop talking about it all the time. Along with this product, you have a full family on board. So tell us a little bit about what it's like having your whole family around you all the time, 40, 40 hours a week, basically. Yeah, yeah, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. My daughters actually sometimes say, don't call us this weekend, don't call us tonight. We're sick of seeing you guys, give us a break. We know each other and we know how they operate. And my dad, you know, he, he sucks at computer work. And my mom, she loves computer work. and. My sister, she just paints and doesn't want to deal with anything else and I know how to how to talk with them in the right ways. It's more relaxed than working in a different environment, people I don't know, but I know I take that aspect of it for granted. It's it's good. Yeah. It's you know it's really good to um, to have them interested in something that you've you know, brought up yourself, that you've grown and we feel like we're ready to pass the baton onto the girls. You know, Olivia is kind of falling into the role of Sharon, and Alex is helping me paint uh, as an assistant, and she's really grown as an artist herself. So I think that the two of them actually in maybe, I don't know how many years, when I'm ready to retire, I think they could take over what we're doing right now. I love having my girls involved in the business because of what they bring to the table. They both have totally different views, um, which is fine. Uh, you know, it's, I mean, everybody is different, so you kind of have to take what they're willing to give and, and use that. What What's some uh, funny things that have gone on here in the studio? Are you guys working together you could share? Funny things. Um, probably the thing that a lot of our friends and fans on our fan page, um, we post these videos of us breaking out into song. Yeah, I you know, they, they have a lot of fun working and they, do like to do their sing-along videos. I have to say that I don't generally partake in that. I, I have fun. There's a couple videos that I'm in where I'm acting kind of spazzy, but it's mainly my sister and my dad. My sister loves documenting everything, so she'll just, she makes the funniest videos with herself or with other people. She doesn't care, yeah. so. Where like on the radio, a song will come up that uh, we really enjoy and then, We'll take our cell phone, hold it out, do the selfie thing, and we'll sing at the top of our lungs, and it's kind of funny. Alexa does these little videos, these 30-second videos that she, uh, she posts and things like that. Um, we have pretty much daily concerts, you know, we're bored. We might change the station to something interesting, like NSYNC, or if I really want to give my dad something good, I'll put on rap, like Wiz Khalifa, and oh my gosh, seeing him dance to that. <laughs> It's hilarious. That and there's a lot of singing. Describe to me working with your wife and what kind of role she has here and what she's like. Sharon's the boss. Yeah. Yeah, she's the boss of me and the whole company. Pretty organized. I mean, I'm always saying I'm anal. I have spreadsheets for my tennis career, for God's sake. So I have spreadsheets for everything. Parties, anything, it's all on a spreadsheet. I put everything on my phone calendar. Mm -hmm. Sharon's very thorough. She's taught me to take my time. I'm still learning still. But uh, she's, you know, she's very thorough, very organized, and you know, that's helped me to have more of that kind of mindset. Yeah. And I know something about my dad that he, um, when we were younger, he painted naked. He'd wear just his apron, and he'd pass my mom, and then my mom would turn and see just his butt. 
and so thank God I wasn't there for that, but I think it was kind of funny. He lifts his apron up to hug us because he doesn't want to get us wet with paint, and they were like, wait a second, I'd rather get paint on me. <laughs> Riding our bikes together is awesome. I have to say, it, that is cool. Now, as the mother hen, I ride in the pack. I always call myself the caboose, Scott leads, so we keep our little chickens in the middle of us, and I don't know what I would do if something was gonna happen. I mean, speed up and cut off the car, I don't know, but it's, uh, it's so awesome. But my dad is an artist. He is so passionate for like what he does. You can tell with every piece that's in here. He loves painting, and loves the way that it affects and impacts other people's lives. I've learned a lot from them. I learned, you know, how to love somebody more than myself, for one. Um, as you have a new baby now, you probably know that feeling. It's a, it's a feeling that you've, you've never experienced in your life until you have a child. Client asks them a question about a certain product or, you know, the way I do something, they have the answer. And I'm like, I got this big grin on my face. I'm so excited that they, they know everything. So I feel confident that if you came into my gallery and I wasn't here, you would feel like a part of me was here because you were talking to somebody that was as knowledgeable about the product and the art as I was.